with total defense, home and home office, go beyond protection. Today's topic, My Files Walkthrough on Total Defense Security Suite. Double-click on the Total Defense icon to open the home screen. Once the CA Security Suite is opened, click on My Files. Click on View Full Report. This will display the complete information, like the number of files backed up and the number of files that have been restored. Click on Close, and you will go back to the main screen. This will show you the number of files that you have backed up and the date when you have backed up, along with the backup file name. This explains the number of files you have restored, and the file which you have restored. Reports will once again take you to the View Full Report in the main screen. Click on Close to go back to the main screen. Click on Backup to start backing up the files. Click on Browse to select the files which you would like to back up. You can navigate through the file folders and select the files which you would like to back up and then click on OK. You can also remove a file which you do not want to back up. Click on Browse to select the path where you would like to back up your files to. You will need to type in the file name, which you would like to get the backup file saved as. Once you select the files and select the path to back up, click on Backup, which will start the process. This shows that the backup is initializing. Now the backup is completed. Once the files are backed up, you can click on Close. Double click on the My Files tab. In this screen, you will have quick reports of the last backup that you have done and the tasks. Click on Backup. This once again will redirect you to the main backup screen, which you will find on the main Total Defense Internet Security Suite Plus. Click on Cancel. Now, click on Tasks again. Now let us select the Restore option. Click on Browse from where you can restore the files which you have backed up. Here you can browse from the backup file from the location and select it and then click on OK. Click on Browse. You can select the path where you would like to restore the files to. Click on Restore to start the restoration of the files. Click on Restart and once the computer is restarted, the files would have been successfully restored to the location that you have selected. Click on the drop down menu beside Tasks. Click on Migrate. Real-time migrations stream the information from one computer to another when they are connected through a network connection or an Ethernet crossover cable. If you are transferring the data from this computer, select this computer as source and the other computer as destination. If you have set up a crossover cable connection, select source and destination computers are connected with a crossover cable. Check the box for protect the migration with a password to protect your source computer data from access by other computers in the same network during the migration. If your source and destination computers are connected by a crossover cable, you do not need to protect the data with a password. You must enter this password on the destination computer before you start migration. Once you enter the password, click on Next. You are prompted to dis disable any active firewall products. Ensure that your firewall is disabled and click OK. You are prompted to ensure that the source and destination computers are connected. Click OK. The source computer is ready for the migration and remains in waiting mode until the destination computer successfully connects to it. Click on the drop down below Tasks. Click on Migrate. Click on Migrate. Select Deferred Migration and then click on Browse. Type the name of the file in which you would like to migrate the settings. Once you type in the file name and click on Save, then click on Next. Select this option if you would like to migrate your desktop icons, wallpaper, screensaver, My Documents folder, and settings for the keyboard, mouse, printer, wireless, and applications on your computer. Applications would include Microsoft Outlook, Outlook Express, Internet Explorer, and Instant Messengers. Select this option if you would like to migrate data and settings not listed within typical migration. If you select Custom Migration, edit buttons are enabled for you to select specific data and settings. System settings help you choose control panel panel settings. Select the settings that you wish to migrate and click on OK. When you click on Deselect, all the settings will be unchecked. When you click on Select All, the complete settings will be selected to migrate. Click on OK once you select the settings to migrate. Application settings help you save settings for specific applications. You can select the settings that you would like to migrate. Files and folders help you select only a few files or folders you want to migrate. You can select the files and folders and then click on OK to save the changes. File rules can be an easy way to select all files for a specific type on your source PC. For example, 
All JPEG file rule will save all photographs on your source PC. You can also manually enter the file extensions that you would like to migrate. For example, if you would like to add all the .exe files, you can type the file name as .exe and then click on Add and click on OK. It will appear as one more column. In case you would like to delete that file type, you can select it and then click on Remove. Once you have configured all the settings, click on My. The migration begins. The migration page will display progress status. Migration success, or errors and failures that occur during the migration, will be displayed on completion of migration. Once you click on OK, you will get this screen. Visit TotalDefense.com for more details. Thank you for watching. Visit TotalDefense.com for more details. Thank you for watching.